Hello guys, so today we're gonna be teaching you how to make all of this. Here we go. First, first, let's let's get some event things. Let's get a definition, let's get an event receiver, let's get an event sender. And we're gonna need a button wall at that. Boop. That's your button. And now, one out, one out. And we need a prompt local player. And a subtitle. Once this gets sand, we're gonna have to do this. All right, ready? Let's go. Now, go here. Go to add new property, configure, okay, wait. Configure this, add a new property, I'm gonna call this text, and you see, this is text, right? And now, let's go here, you see this. Click in this, it will show this. And now you connect that to this. And we're gonna rename this to announcement, announcement. As you yeah, see, this yeah, is changed. Yeah. And let's go here. Change this to all. And now let's do announcement. And then, okay, I don't know why I made a wall climb a wall. But, and then you do this. And when it's complete, it sends this and this gets sent. So this text goes through this text. Okay. I think, yeah, you can't edit these, but I think you can edit this, yeah. Mm. Now, let's make it so pressing the button here, this will show this up. And as you see, let's not do that for now. And now this should be sent to everyone in the lobby. <coughs> So you need an event sender, and if you want to change it to anything, you go to event. This only is applying for custom events that are made. Like all of this, when the room test event, you see? Now announcement, you see? So now let's show everyone. I think we got another person here. <laughs> Walk off. <laughs> now send an announcement in this. And what he types in should show up. Hello. That's why he typed. So that's all for the video. Thank you for being included. Anyways, good.